Welcome to Action Corp TV. We've got a very special show for you. A world premiere, something that Xbox monitors have watched for a long time tonight on Action Corp TV. Welcome to Action Corp TV. I'm Seth. And I'm Sean. A few episodes back, we did a side by side comparison of Xbox Media Center uh, versus the Media Center extender capabilities of the Xbox 360. Xbox Media Center is an application for a modded Xbox that basically lets you watch your own media, be your own pictures, your own movies, your own music, that kind of thing. Over the last week, I've had a, quite a few conversations with Black Bolt, the project manager for MC360, a new skin for Xbox Media Center. It's going to be out in a few weeks or so, uh, but we're getting a preview build. He did a special release for just us so we could show it to you. What do you think? So far, I've just been blown away by it. I mean, this is everything that uh, a real developed skin should be for Xbox Media Center. It shows off features of the skinning engine in Media Center that a lot of people probably don't even know that it had. Black Bolt has gone through extraordinary lengths to basically make it look just like the 360. The four main blades with their colors, uh, the style of the blades, the fonts, all the functions at either exactly as they show up on the 360 or is as close of a function as he can get. At one point I actually was confused when my when the 360 when this was on and I looked down at my switcher and it said Xbox and not 360. I went, wait a minute. Oh yeah. There's two more customized blades um, that people in, in the 360 owners have seen. You know, the personal, the private blade. The guide um, the is guide. what that was called. That's also where you can do you can cut set up your uh, custom wallpapers. All the blades you can set any picture that you've got on the hard drive, you can set as wallpaper for any of the four blades you've got. Something you couldn't easily do in Xbox Media Center before uh, was actually customize it that way and change things without actually editing the skin and changing those files yourself. It, it gives you a, a, a GUI feel for doing some of the things that used to be more kind of back in the hacky kinds of things like like you said with this changing the skins and things. There are alerts that, uh, like if you mute it, um, if the Xbox can detect another Xbox on the network, it pops up like a 360. It's very cool. If you've got an Xbox or Xbox 360 uh, Xbox Live account, and you've set it up to Xbox.com, this thing can pull down the data. You put in your gamer tag, and it will pull down your rep, your gamer score, your gamer zone, and your gamer tile. Or gamer pick, I'm not sure which one it's called. Gamer, gamer tile. It is gamer tile. Then game saves. This, this is pretty cool. The game saves one actually has the ability to download from the uh, from the net game saves of a specific game that you're looking at. Now, I don't know where it's looking. Most likely xboxgamesaves.com. <laughs> He's taken a lot of these things that were before you had to kind of reach out to, to get from different places on the net and put it all into one common space. And the blades uh, from the 360, that style of layout, is just perfect for it. But right now the skin is working mainly in PAL, which is different from NTSC. It's the European standard. Uh, eventually, Black Bolt did tell me that when the skin is released, it will support 16x9, it will support NTSC. Right now, we've got a 4x3 PAL copy that's basically up and running and, and functional. As of right now, this is in a pre-release kind of alpha build. This isn't something you can get right now. This is something you can watch for on blackbolt.xboxscene.com as he updates with screenshots, with uh, progress reports. That's xbox scene Com. That'll be on the font below us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again just for safety. Okay. Just for safety. Actually, it would have been kind of funny if we'd actually just left it. Yeah, that's how you said that. <laughs> I think it's incredible. I think the progress he's made so far uh, is definitely worth the wait, and um, it's lived up to all the hype that I've seen. What do you think, Seth? I agree. I think this thing is absolutely amazing. You know, there was a time that, you know, depending on when you listen to this podcast, this thing might not have existed. It, it's absolutely real, let us tell you. We want to thank Black Bolt for the opportunity to get to play with this skin early. This is a really, really cool thing, and I think a lot of you guys are going to agree with us in a couple of weeks down the road.